Hello everybody, I'm Tim Elkner. I'm here judging the vegetables at the farm show. So what I'm looking for is I look for vegetables that you would want to buy in the store. We want high quality, we want nice produce, we don't want it to be soft, any kind of problems like that. So right now I'm looking at the garlic. So when I'm judging, one of the things you might not look at quite so close in this store is you're gonna buy a clove of garlic. But when I judge a plate of garlic, I'm looking at how evenly are they. So for instance, in this plate, I have two different sizes in here. I'd like to see in this plate here, they're all very much the same size. Then I look at the appearance of them. This one's got some damage in here. So in this particular set, this one's going to be first place. This one's got, they're nice garlic, not as neat, nice of a size, but the appearance isn't good here. So this one gets third place. This one will be second. Moving on to the beets. Again, what I'm looking for is what, what would you want to buy in the store? You want nice beets that are nice and firm. In this case, again, I've got a plate with different sizes on it. This one's a little smaller than ideal, but they're still nice, fresh beets, um, depending on what you're doing, if you're needing a dish with small beets. Um, but overall, this one, if, you know, if I were buying to have beets, this would be the best one here. So we'll go ahead and put it this way. Moving on to parsnips, which is one that some folks are, are starting to, to become used to. We post, they're really good. Like I like to go ahead and have these out of the oven. You just bake them um, or broil them. But looking at this again, very uneven in terms of the size. Not quite sure what's going on here. I think the soil was a little bit too moist where that one was being grown. Mother Nature doesn't always do a good job for us. These are at least more even. So this will be, go ahead and place them this way. We've got one white radish, one black radish. Still looking at them. You know, they're, they're overall okay. Maybe that's not a, a first place radish, but this is a nice paste plate of black winter radishes here. Nice and even, good size on those. We'll keep moving on here. Now we get to a bigger class. We're looking at the rutabagas and, and with rutabagas again you're going to want to have if you're cooking a rutabaga you want something like that versus something like that where you don't have much to go ahead and and be eating on so we'll go ahead and move that one aside this is a little bit more of a challenging class here because we've got <clears throat> some nicer entries this one again is small this one we have some larger rutabagas here. Again, look at what is the evenness of the entry. These are all, you know, these would be ones that you would find in the store that they're all in, in pretty nice shape. Not something that's real popular with people in terms of eating rutabagas. But a crop that stores easily, so that's why it's a more of a winter crop. Got some unevenness in that group. If you look at this, you know, this plate's just very nice, fairly evenly sized. They're never going to look exactly alike. The root crops are really challenging to get them to look alike just because of growing in the soil and what the soil is. But in terms of size, these are some nice plates here. This one's a little bit smaller, but they're still not bad. So we've got some defects on this one. If you look at this plate, you know, we've got a larger and a smaller. This one's more evenly sized, even though these are good rutabagas. Uniform overall. This one, we've got big one to a small one there. This is actually probably, this is going to be my number one plate here. Overall, 
the most uniform, good-sized rutabagas. This one's a little smaller, but they're still nice. So this will be my second place. And down to these, he's got some issues here. Sometimes you reconsider. It's more uniform than this one. When you're entering, I like to look at what's the largest and the smallest when I'm supposed to have uniformity. And this one's got a little bit more of a difference there. So this will be number three. And this will be number, that'll be number four. All right. And that's what, what we have for the rutabagas this year. Thank you for watching.